Jana Potskivanok, Siastok. Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining me. Today I'm at the Hungarian city of Sopron. This is in the top northwest corner of Hungary, not far from the Austrian border. I'm at Sopron railway station or Sopron Vasudalomash to say it in Hungarian. Vasudalomash literally translates to railway station. Unusually for a Hungarian railway station there's no MAV trains here. It's all GSEV which is Jur Sopron FN Ben Verti Vasu. I've probably not quite said that correctly but anyway. In today's video we're going to go and look for a few steam engines because not far up here there's a field full of steam engines. So that's where we're going to today. I think we'll be travelling on that train there. That's a Stadler Flirt, similar to what Greater Anglia have and so Transport of Wales getting in the UK. I have made videos on the Greater Anglia Stadler Flirts if you want to have a look at link on screen now. As I said we're going to be looking for steam engines. Well at the moment I can see a few electric locomotives. I can see a diesel shunter. I can see a V43 a Vectron and a Taurus and then there's this OBB this Austrian Railways unit being a border station you get quite a lot of um, Austrian Railways trains coming over anyway as for steam engines our first one is just here this one's plinth at the railway station here so it's it's a prairie wheel arrangement so think of it as being like um, the Austro-Hungarian equivalent to Green Arrow it's, it's got that wheel arrangement if we go around the side we can have a look at the number of it unfortunately they've um, they're doing some building work and they've decided to store it, obscuring the, all the materials, obscuring the view slightly. But anyway, you can, we can clearly see it's a um, Prairie a 262. Its number is, it's a class 324 and it's 1518. So that's our first steam loco of the day. What we're going to do now, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to get on that Stadler Flirt and we're going to go and look for some more steam engines, big and small. So here we are, we're on the Stadler Flirt on our way to Furten, so that's where we will change to get on the Kisvashut. Kisvashut is Hungarian for narrow gauge railway. I've got my diesel bashing shirt on, it's got um, an M62 on the front. I don't know if we're going to see one of those today, I will cars by the railway, um, but we have on other trips. So as we come into Furten, there's two steam locos, standard gauge line, locos, plinch. But it's an eight minute connection, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get a picture of them. So, my plan is as we come in, I'll just film out the window so we should see those two. As for these Stadler Flirt trains, I'll just let you have a little look at what they're like. So, it's nice you've got you know seating in, in fours. It's my notebook there for writing down train numbers. This is the upper part. If you look, you can go down here into a lower part, so it makes them fully accessible. So, you know, you don't have to go upstairs, you can sit down here in the lower part, and then as you walk through into the next carriage, it's like a ramp up and down, so um, whenever I go on these trains I always try and go for the upper part because you see that a little bit more, so it's not far, it's only about an eight minute journey to Furtable, so I'm going to keep looking because I don't want to miss these steam locos that are coming up. So we've just got off the Stadler Flirt and here we are, some more steam engines. We have a Kriegslok here. It looks like it's been fairly recently oiled. So Kriegslok is a German one, it literally means war locomotive. I've seen a few of these in steam in Germany. I've seen them working in Bosnia, Herzegovina a few years ago. They still work out of coal mines. And there's another local there, it's the Hungarian Railways class 424. The narrow gauge platforms are down the other end of the station, so I probably ought to go there because it's quite a tight change. So the train we arrived on still hasn't gone yet because it's single track and it's waited for the other train to pull in. There's our little narrow gauge train which uh, yeah, really excited about going on. So once this train's crossed our path we'll go across the track, we're going to get on that narrow gauge train and we're going to go for an exciting little ride to find a few more steam engines. So here we are, we're on the noisy narrow gauge train, bouncing our way through the Hungarian countryside. Um, it's, it's quite of an unusual shape line, it's like an M shape, so we're now in the middle of the M if you know what I mean. So in a minute I think the logo is either going to run round or there's a return loop, I'll find out soon. But when we get to the other end we'll have a proper look around the site. 
so I've just arrived at the middle station. Um, so we've got to wait here for the loco to run around the train. So on the map it showed as a return loop, so whether that's a future plan at the moment. Yeah, but the loco is already running around, so we'll just see the loco go last and then we'll continue to uh, nod sake. So here we are at the other end of the line, have my diesel bash, my diesel bashing shirt on behind this locomotive. Quite an interesting little loco. So um, I suppose the number is 84119530 or is it a DMOT? 953, yeah, so you, it could be identified by either of them. You get the Bismot rail cars. This is a DMOT rail car. I'm not sure the exact how how they come up with those numbers, but that's kind of how they are. So this is the end station here, which is really quite nice. What I can show you is um, quite a good map or over here, interactive map. So if you have a look at this, this was the line we came on, although we actually came from Chopron. So imagine us as a train. We came from that way, Chopron. We got off here. Our train went off up there, and then we got on the train here, and we went down here to here. But it shows us a loop like that, but we didn't do that. Our loco ran round, and we came all the way up along here, and we finished here. So now let's go and have a look around the site. Oh, I just derailed the steam loco. The steam loco, um, this one here, I could glimpse it in the shed at the other end, which is a bit of a shame, so I don't think we're going to see that. But we will see some steam loco. So if we go just around here, there's a whole field of them. Well, and it's like an outdoor museum of narrow gauge rolling stock. So there's quite a few interesting things to see here. So this railway, it's like a children's railway. You've probably heard of the children's railway in Budapest, which was an old sort of communist thing that taught children how to work on railways. But now it's more like a scout. You know, you get sea cadets and the air training corps. Think of it as like a scouts of railways. So here's all this rolling stock. So let's have a little look around. So we've got a nice carriage here. Um, it tells you information about them, but in Hungarian. And as I know, as you may know, I do speak a little bit of Hungarian, but possibly not enough to translate them. So that's quite an interesting looking vehicle there. Um, what else have we got? We've got um, there's another carriage there. We'll go, which way should we go? Let's have a look at this. There's a tender steam loco. This is interesting looking. They're all, they're all narrow gauge, these are. Um, let's see, the information might be able to tell us something. Hmm. Yeah, not too sure. Anyway, another steam loco here. And if we have a look here, now this one to me looks like a, what they call a field barn locomotive. You, um, they were quite common sort of in France on, on the front during the World War. There's also a similar one at the Leighton Buzzard Railway in England. Another little steam loco. These two steam locos here look similar. If you're wondering what the funnel, why it's that shape, that's a spark arrestor, so any sparks would be arrested. We have another, oh wait, oh, it's pretty big, that tank engine there. It's not a, it's not a small loco. Yeah, you know, it's small, but it's not small, if you know what I mean. Some more carriages parked along here. A whole line of carriages. There's a turntable there. It's not sat in a turntable pit, but it is a turntable. It's got a chassis of a wagon on. You can see the, the curvature of the turntable. And uh, there's, so there's quite a, yeah, a few steam locos. There's another one I quite like. Is this one here, 490057. Usually Hungarian narrow gauge steam locos are 
number 490 or, or certainly i think that this is a resistor a romanian built steam engine i've ridden behind one of these at the narrow gauge railway near boyer and i think they have i have ridden behind one on the children's railway in budapest in the past and there's also this is quite a little cool rail car here so we've we've seen a few steam engines on today's trip which has been quite good we're in the village of Nodsank, so what we're going to do now, we're going to leave the steam locos. There's something across the road I want to show you, so we're going to go over the road and have a look at that. I've just come across the road from the railway station, and uh, we're walking beside the wall of a country estate. Unfortunately, it's not open today, but on the other side of this wall is one of Hungary's stately homes. It's quite a famous one. Um, and you possibly without realizing it if you've been to Hungary you've probably seen a picture of it I'll show you where you'll have seen a picture of it in a minute we went to a model village yesterday in Chopron there was a model of that stately home here at there but if we have a look here there in front of us is a stately home look at that. Now, if you're wondering where you've probably seen it, then here is a 500 foreign note, 5,000 foreign note, sorry. Look at that on the back. That is this castle. So here we are, this castle. I'm holding a 500 foreign note with this castle on, standing outside this castle. And if you look that way, there's a nice avenue, be a nice walk to walk off up there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna now head back to the railway station and take my narrow gauge train and then a standard gauge train back to shop on Egesegedre. That's cheers in Hungarian. That gentleman was drinking some Shoproni beer, which is a very, very nice beer. So as we head back to the narrow gauge railway station, I've noticed there's a section of standard gauge track here, just a plinth. So I reckon they might be going to plinth a standard gauge locomotive or carriage or they're going to plinth something, I reckon. Otherwise, why would you put a standard gauge bit of track? So if you are watching this video in like three or four years time, and they've been for loco there, and I haven't already been back to make another video, please do comment and tell me, because I'd love to know what's gonna happen. So I'm now making my way back. We're heading back to the narrow gauge railway. We'll have a walk through the museum again. Um, so it's a bit ironic, really, that we've come to see all these steam engines, and yet the one loco that actually is in steam uh, this railway hasn't featured in the video that is a bit of a shame but it is my intention to visit this railway again when they're running steam so one some point in the future we'll do that so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you'd like to come visit this railway yourself it's very easy to get to as i showed from Chopron, the standard gauge trains do connect with the narrow gauge trains you can even come from budapest it actually shows it if you look at their timetable on their website it shows connections from trains from budapest so you could easily do a day trip from budapest you'd have a three hour journey but it'd be worth doing so from this field full of steam locomotives thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment Goodbye. This on that, Asher.